Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. Today we're going to talk about event managing events. Is that what you want to talk about? I do. I want to talk about managing events. Like, how do you manage them? <laughs> well, <laughs> events and projects. Well, yeah, I know, because the thing is, is that Final Cut Pro 10 shows every event. So if you work, you know, every event that you've ever created since yes, it was since introduced. Yes, the dawn of time. So yeah, well, and you want to be able to control which ones appear and which ones don't. Yes, at, at the yes. flick of a mouse. Yeah. By, def- it, yeah. by default, Final Cut Pro 10 will show you every project, every event in there. And you can make folders and put stuff in folders and kind of hide things, but it still loads them all. That's right. So um, by limiting what's loaded, you make Final Cut launch faster. And you can also hide projects that you don't want to be exposed. For right. instance, you're working you know, on a client for Pepsi, and then Coke comes in, and you work on a client for Coke. Yeah, and you, and you want to hide the two. You events. want to do that, right? Right. So what you can do manually is um, all those, depending on where you've stored your projects and events. But for instance, here on my local hard drive, they're stored in the Movies folder, in the Final Cut Events folder, right. and the Final Cut Projects folder. So you can manually. Here's a bunch of projects that I have. Right. Okay. And here's a bunch of events that I have. You can manually take those out of these folders, and they will no longer show up in Final Cut. Right. It's a lot of it's, gla- dragging. It, it's very yeah. simple and clean, yeah. but it's a lot of dragging around, especially because yeah. I have a lot of different events and projects. So right. what I do instead, I found this great tool called Event Manager X um, from our buddy Phil Hodgetts. And just full disclosure, we don't make any money for talking about this product or anything. Correct. We don't have a relationship there, but it's a great tool and it's $5. That's right. And we use so, it. So yeah, and we, we use like it. it. So, and it was just, it's just, it's been upgraded recently right. and it does even more. And I played with it before and I thought I should use that and I didn't, but with the upgrade and the new feature, it was like, this is a no brainer. Right. So here's the idea. It does the simplest thing you can imagine. It just moves the folders for, for you. you. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, you just move the folders for me, but it's super useful because check this out. So when I launch it, on top, it's got the events, and on the bottom, it's got the projects. And by the way, you can do a side-by-side view if you go into preferences. There's a side-by-side view if you want, but I kind of like this because it's the way it's set up in Final Cut Pro. Yeah. You got to get your events orientation. in the top. Same orientation, right? So you can see I have a lot of events that are currently turned off. Most of them, in fact, are turned off, and I have a bunch of projects that are turned off. I don't need them loaded right now, but I like to have them in there. So, for example, I don't. There's one called ABQ for Albuquerque. Okay. That's not loaded right now, so um, actually I should, I should prove that. I'll, I'll launch Final Cut Pro just so we can see what's in there and what's not in there, as we can see if this actually works or not. So if I launch Final Cut Pro, it's You already have that many events on your hard drive? <sighs> Yikes. Yeah, I know. So um, in Final Cut Pro, this, the only ones that are on are these, right? One, two, three, four, five, six uh, right. events. Right. And then uh, I've got a bunch of projects, but it's the same idea. I keep my projects, as the you folders. can see down here in folders. It keeps them more organized because, I, you know, I much uh, often have, oops, sorry, I often have many different versions in there of right. everything. So I'm going to quit Final Cut. Um, that is important. You want to quit Final Cut when you work with Event Manager so it can do its thing. So all I'm going to do here, I'm going to turn on this one called ABQ 1012, Okay. okay. Now, to make it actually do its thing, at the bottom, there it says move events and projects. So you basically click the ones on and off that you, you want. want. And yeah. by the way, this will show you like mounted drives. If you have a bunch, you know, mounted drives, but you don't want to see them, it'll right. show you what's in there, but not load it unless right. you want it to. So I'm just going to click uh, move events and projects. I have this checked, reopen Final Cut, so that it will reopen. I'll, I'll click that, and Launches it's going to re- it for you. relaunch Final Cut Pro 10. And I love the thing about mounted drives because often, you know, you, you stick a drive in and you don't want that stuff mounted. You don't have to quit Final Cut to, oh, what? to get rid of yeah, the drive. Yeah, you put it in as like, I don't want to receive yeah. that. Oh, what? Yeah. They saw it. Oh. Well, or you just to get rid of the drive, <laughs> right. you actually have to quit Final Cut to eject the drive. There it is, ABQ 1012, okay? Yeah. So um, it shows me exactly what I want. Uh, it, nothing could be simpler. Now, the cool thing about it is this new feature uh, that allows you to set these different states. And what do I mean that? You can see up here it says sets, okay, current state. So this is currently what Final Cut looks like. Right. But I can set other sets up. So you hit the little plus button, you can create more, okay. Um, I'm not going to do that. Well, it just created a blank one, but I created one already called MBS. So watch, I'll create, go to MBS. Do you see that just turned off? Yes. So this is a separate set. So MBS is MacBreak Studio. So when I come on set here, I don't want all my client projects loaded. Sure. So I set up, instead of sitting here and clicking a whole bunch on and clicking a whole bunch off, I just have a set that says switch me to the MBS set 
and only show those things. Right. Okay? Very, very slick. Super slick. There's one thing you need to be a little bit careful about. Watch this. Let's say in this set, I actually want to show this Albuquerque one. So I'll turn it on. I'll go back to current state. I'll go back to MBS. It, it turned off. Right. Like, why did it turn off? And the reason is when you make changes in here, like if I turn, let's say I turn these two on, those changes don't get established unless you do one of two things. Okay? One thing is clicking move events and projects. Got it. You know, in this case, it, it, you don't have to relaunch Final Cut. You just click that. Right. Okay? Another way of doing it is going into this edit mode, which is this button here, this little pencil. Little pencil, right? Yeah, which use it to set the name. But if you just say OK, now watch, I'll go back to the current state. And I'll go back to MBS, and I stay ah, checked. Okay, it. so now they're locked in. So that's one thing you need to be a little bit careful about. Don't just make a bunch of changes and switch states again. You need to sort of lock them in by clicking a button down here or going to edit mode. Yes. But a super handy tool for managing. Can you show, what does it look like on the hard? Where, where does it put the, these? Oh yeah, yeah. Good, great, great, great point. So in the Finder, um, it's it's really really simple. And like I say, you could do this yourself, um, but it really saves time. Let me slide up there. Come on, slide up there. You're, you're, <laughs> zoomed, in. you're, no, you're zoomed in. You gotta... I know, but I just be able to slide up there. Right. Um, there. So it created a new folder called Final Cut Events Hidden. That's all it did. And it throws them in there. Wow. There they are. There's all, my, there's all my hidden Final Cut events. Here's all my hidden Final Cut projects. Okay? <laughs> so it just hides them <laughs> for you. And you could definitely do that yourself, but boy, is it easier to click check boxes and to set up sets than right. to sit there and oh, drive stuff. Because yeah, I've been doing this thing manually for a while, and it's gotten, as you can see, it's gotten to be a hassle. I hit the pain point where I was willing to shell out five bucks. This is definitely <laughs> a pain point alleviator, yeah. uh, for sure. Fantastic. Yeah, so well, pretty simple. Um, good job, you can guys. Search on Event Manager X, you can find it's intelligence assistant. Intelligentassistance.com, I think. Intelligent, yeah, intelligentassistance.com. Yeah, say that 10 times. Right, they're the guys that make the. Um, X, uh, 7 to X and X to 7. X to 7 yeah. So if you need to get your Final Cut 7 yeah. projects into 10, awesome app. Oh, yeah. one thing I should say, they are extremely responsive. They're they're a very facile company, so if you email them, this doesn't work. I don't understand. They get right back to you. In fact, yeah. what happened today was... Yeah, this morning we were playing around with this, and there was something I couldn't get to work right, right? And I, I, I made a little movie. I sent it off to them. I said, hey, can you explain this? And they said, yeah, you found a little bug. Here's a fix. It's up. And it was pushed... It was not just to me. That it was in the product. You go to the, in the product. You go up and say update, yeah. and it was done. It yeah. was fixed. So like, he, he found a bug like this in an hour. Thing, yeah. In an hour, it was yeah. awesome, and they fixed it. So uh, small developers are great. Yeah, excellent. So event manager ten. He calls it X. I call it ten. All right. So <laughs> thanks for watching another episode of Mac Break Studio X. Um, no, <laughs> don't, don't no, sorry. Final Cut ten. <laughs>